The Bull Strong Inside USF Football Postgame Report is brought to you by USF Health. You know, a tough loss, guys, really hard loss. You give up 17 points, then you get the ball there to open and drive, and we had three opportunities on our side of the 50. We turned the ball over twice, and then we give up the ball on a uh, four downs. And then you have a lead, you, you have a chance to add to it, and then you allow them to stay in the game, and then they made some plays. It's one of those games where you, it's almost like you just, we gave it away. But, you know, you got to give credit to Temple for his continuing battle but we had our opportunities we didn't take advantage of. Them. Third down and two on the ground. It goes to Cronkwright. He's got the first and more. Jordan Cronkwright down the sideline. Cronkwright, what an addition to this group for USF. The transfer out of Florida, number two, Jordan Cronkwright, the guy that's now over 1,000 yards rushing this season. It's a big accomplishment for me, something I've never done. A lot of my role models, um, we've done it numerous times, and it's a great feeling for that, but um, like I said, it's bittersweet right now. Yeah, nice job by the USF defense. Well, we wanted to uh, stop them. I think we held them under 100 yards rushing, and uh, we were able to run the ball. But still, though, uh, when we needed to make plays, they uh, had it, uh, converted a couple of third down plays on us that were, were really key. And the Bulls up front, led by Khalid McGee that time, the weak side linebacker, makes the tackle. Start the run. That was the game plan. Seniors stepped up today, this week, you know, we said enough is enough. Uh, just our attention to detail. Um, I know we missed a lot of tackles in the second half, so I think tackling was a big uh, focus that we needed to focus, focus on in the second half was tackling. Dangerous pass to the outside, and it got broken up by Mazzy Wilkins. That's what we had to, um, we had to finish. You know, we was up 17-0. We just had to finish. We were selling uh, a two-high look all game, and Coach BJ switched it up, and we went one high and uh, kind of went in the middle of the field, uh, went off the quarterback, and. Uh, Throw it up and caught it. It's intercepted. They're going to give it right back. Ronnie Hoggins on the interception for the Bulls. I mean, anytime you lose, it's, it's disheartening. But, I mean, uh, as a team, we got to stick together, man. We got we got another game next week. We got to move on. We, we lost this one, and it hurts. But it's on to the next one. We have a uh, against our robber from the team out east. So we got to move on and get on to the next one. Kind of take it as a lesson. We still have one more game left. Uh, so, you know, we got to do everything we can to prepare for next week. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's seeing night, you know. Last game at home, Ray J, you know, so I'm very excited for that. It's a, it's a rivalry game, so yeah, I'm excited.